Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Davina Ketson from Indigo Sky Holistic and this is a brief video to just talk a little bit about one of my favourite modalities, one of the favourite things that I use with people and even for myself still quite often, um, EFT. Now on my channel you'll find a much longer video all about the history of EFT and all about its foundations and why it works and a little bit about science as well about why it works but I have been creating a series of crystal elixirs and I want to create a little package as well to go with these elixirs and want to create just a short video on EFT to share with the people who buy the package. So the package is going to include an elixir, um, an EFT video, um, 20 minute EFT video with going that will support the use of the elixir and then a meditation as well. And just for people who are buying those, um, I want to do a shorter video on EFT and what it is. So EFT is emotional freedom technique or sometimes you hear it called tapping or just EFT tapping. It, it gets called those things um, and it's, it's, a, it's a way of supporting the energy of emotion to move through the body in a, in a physical way. Um, so if you want to know more go and watch the video which I will link below um, that goes into a lot more detail but it's to try and keep it short and brief <laughs> otherwise I might as well just make another 40 minute video and um, it, it's it uses the words the feelings that we have where we might be storing or feeling emotion held into our body and um, to help to move the energy of the emotion through the body it uses principles of acupressure, acupuncture, using using the points that are used in acupuncture to help with that. And that is why it's it's been studied quite a lot. There's a lot of studies out there that show how that it works, basically. Um, so just because so many people have had so much improvement and it's been used for for war veterans for ptsd sufferers and um, it has its foundation in phobia and that's like the, the 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 doctor who created or stumbled across yeah the the principles of eft basically was using it to treat he was a psychotherapist therapist and he was using it to treat um hydrophobia so it's really really good for that as well it's really good for other things it's really good for stuck emotions for feeling stuck around events in our life for helping us to feel a little bit more content in life it's great i've used it for helping me to feel motivated to declutter um I have used it to help me with money worries. I have used it to help my daughter with travel sickness and anxiety. I've used it for pain for myself. And then I've used it for clients with relationships, with eating disorders, with, um, again, anxiety and with um, a whole range of, of using physical things as well so it, it it has this wide range and it's because we can get really stuck in the emotional energy of of an event of a situation of something going on in our life or something we're worrying about we can get really stuck in the emotion of it and there's a lot of there's a lot of really helpful advice out there that also then can create this this stuckness for us because there's a lot of like just to think something better, feel something better, choose a different emotion. Some people can't you just switch their emotions on and off like that. Um some people can, some people can't. Some people just need to allow the emotions to work through their body. Some people need like sometimes it's such a worrying concern if it's a health condition or if it's something that's been part of us for a very long time like a belief system or something then it's not just a case of like feel something better and then also there's the added 
it feels to me sometimes like a a restriction of being too scared to say the bad things like I can't say that I've got no money or I can't say that I'm in pain or I can't say that I have had a really shit day today because we're supposed to focus on the good and focus on the positive and we you know where we focus our attention where energy goes where, where focus goes energy flows and and I I agree I totally agree that we we should be focusing on the things that we want to create way more than the things that we we aren't happy with or don't like in our life and i practice um like future journaling and i practice embodying where i want to go who i want to be what i want to be in the future but it's actually really hard to do that if you're really stuck in a moment right now where something is tense stressful worrying you might have just got a cancer diagnosis or you might just have got some really bad news about about a loved one or you might have just like broken an arm and you need something right now to allow you to actually admit that this is a really sucky thing there's a really shit event that's happened and i feel really shit about it and that's what eft does so usually we, when we do an EFT tapping session we just for a minute own where we are and how we feel and accept where we are and how we feel and that's what these EFTs short EFT videos that go with the elixirs are going to be doing for people giving them that space of what's brought them to choose the elixir in the first place um, but also then move on to something else. So what happens when we speak out our feelings and our emotions and our worries and concerns, then we give ourselves clarity to bring in the inspiration, the ideas, the motivation to help. If energy stops being stuck in our bodies and we released it and let it go, then we can feel lighter, we can feel freer, we can feel clearer to allow uh, ourselves to either be inspired and have ideas to solve a problem or be open to more direction from spirit from source from the universe from god whatever you want to and however you want to um perceive that energy that's not physical but it is non-physical or spiritual um to help and support us too so that we might be open to more opportunities. So one of my elixirs is an abundance elixir. So it's not just about money, because obviously we measure a lot of um, wealth and, and abundance in our lives through what we can buy or have with money, but also abundance and wealth are so much more than that. They're what, are what is in the world around us. The abundance codes programmed into my abundance elixir are all about opportunities as well and being like free to stop being caught in the moment and be open to opportunities. And another one of my elixirs is, um, it's for weight release but it's not just about physical weight because to me for me my belief is that when it comes to physical weight it isn't just about things that we might be ingesting taking into our bodies but it's also about the emotions that we're storing and holding within ourselves as well so that weight release elixir is called letting it go and it's all about letting go of the weight within us and what magically happens when people start to let go of their emotional weight or their mental weight or their worries their concerns physical weight starts to just be released as well you can nurture it then by allowing energy to flow more through exercise this is why exercise works um because it allows the energy to start flowing through the body as well so that's how eft works if you want to dive a little bit more deeply into that then i have a blog post on it and i have um as i said a longer youtube video on it but this is just really brief this is what eft is this is what you're going to be getting into to go into the tapping videos that go with the elixirs and if you like to know more about them then you can read about them also 
the link to a blog post down in the description too. So when we do a tapping video, we just, as I said, briefly talk about the situation that we're feeling, the emotion around, and then we tap on some points around the body that that where we want to shift the energy from. And I'll just briefly demonstrate some of these now. We have like the eyebrow point and the side of the eye and under the eye, under the nose, the chin, the collarbone. So I tended it in the middle so I can touch both parts of the collarbone. And then there's the top of the head. There's a few other points too. When I go through the videos, I will share them. But that's that's what it looks and it looks a little bit weird, a little bit crazy. Sometimes you might feel totally insane doing it, but that's okay because <laughs> it's all about accepting and being with how you feel right now. And sometimes in my EFTs, I do actually say, you know, I look really crazy. I know that I look really crazy right now doing this, and that's okay because we totally and completely like, accept who we are right now in this moment with all of our humanness with all of our worries with all of our anxieties with all of who we are that makes us human because we might be energetic beings we might be light we might be energy we might be spirit we, we also chose to incarnate into bodies in this crazy planet that is the earth whatever it is that we are where we are now and you know what we chose to incarnate here to have a human experience and to be human just for a really brief period of time in the grand scheme of things. So embrace it, embrace that humanness, embrace those emotions while they're there, but don't get stuck in them. And that's how we use EFT to release them, move them through and find something better. So enjoy whichever um, EFT video you're gonna go and watch, enjoy. Do let me know how you find it, how it works for you. And if there's any other EFT videos that you'd like, other than the one that you have chosen. And I will either tell you if it is already made or I will share, I will create a new one, especially. Thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe do all that things that YouTube likes to do and enjoy your EFT. Take care.